you okay? Yeah, fine. How's the coffee? Not bad. What happened after the Emmons arrived? Just fading. In and out. You were there, weren't you? Yeah. That was my free time with you at the hospital. I spent every awful gossip magazine going. S sounds great. You didn't have to spend all your time with me. She went on once, once or twice. Before. I suppose. How'd it go over? Sh sure, I told you. If you did, I don't remember. So what happened? She didn't remember me either. Yeah, Mum. We can't crash a real nice. It's not a joke, and I'm not your mum, sorry. I think I know my own mum. I've never seen you before. Proof I know you. Your, your name is Sandra York. You were born on the 15th of April 1975. Uh, you moved to Brighton at the age of 18 to study nursing. That fell through because of it, you met John Ford. Uh, you had Erin Victoria Ford. Um, you separated after a year, but. So we left to raise her own four years on your own. Uh, and then you, uh, then you met Alan York while working in Tesco's. Uh, you were married after a year. For six months, had me, Alan York. Mum. How did the hell do you know any of that? No, you're not. Leave me and my family alone. What's going on down there, Mum? Nothing, Erin. Something idiot really thinks is funny. Your family has no idea who you are. Come on, go for a walk, take your mind off things. Fine. And then she said, Have you spoken to anyone else? I tried. Just call him Matt, but he wouldn't pick up. And then <sighs> James just hung up when I said hello. That's all I can remember. Why don't you use your phone contact list, you idiot? Ha ha ha. I would have done, but it'd been deleted. So, to sum up my situation, my friends don't know who I am. My own family doesn't know who I am. I'm the only person who does know who I am. I don't even know if I know you. What are you going on about? It's, it's like when you meet someone for the first time and it feels like you've known them your whole life, but deep down you know they're just a perfect stranger. Come on, I know you had the accent and everything, but. Ava, hey, here's the word I said. Yes! My friends don't know who I am. My mum doesn't even know who I am. I don't know the person I'm supposed to love, but my hair really bloody hurts. Maybe you can use your contacts and just don't remember. And your mates could just be because you've been busy. My mum? Your mum could have developed dementia and just forgotten who you are. What about Erin? This dementia has become airborne. I don't think that explains it. Did Erin just see your face? N no. Then she wouldn't have known it was you at the door. You've been gone for a while. She might not recognise your voice. And then just taking your mum's word for it when she said that you were some stupid kid. See? It makes sense. Now let's stop worrying about this and... I think if this happened to you, you'd be pretty freaked out. For Christ's sake! We just came up with a conclusion. You. You came up with a conclusion, not we. Look, 
I just want to know what's going on, okay? I'm just trying to help you out. Who the hell are you? Adam, stop it. Please. Do you remember anything? usual strategy, but your sister was more than willing. Willing? Well, now I'll keep you from the minds of anyone you hold dear. I can finish this. There's only room for one of us in that one, and you've been holding it for the past 17 years. I'm just taking it off your hands. And now, in local news, the body of a teenager has been discovered on the South Downs. It was found by a dog walker around 8 o'clock this morning, but it's still unknown how long the body has been there. The police have been unable to identify the teen and are asking anyone who might have any information to contact them by calling 01273 113800. Back to our main story tonight. <laughs> 